talking about ways in which we can really live a very fruitful Lent. Here's a very important practice in Lent, namely, trying to make a good confession. We all are sinners and need God's mercy. Prepare yourself to make a good confession. Go through the five classical steps. First, examine your conscience upon the Ten Commandments, the capital sins, as well as your state of life. Second, sorrow. Be sorry for your sins because by committing sin we hurt God. And God is our greatest lover. We don't want to hurt the one that loves us so much and that we should love in return. Third, make sure that you make a firm purpose of amendment. This means you're truly sorry, but you're going to take the specific steps to not fall into the same sin. This also means you're going to try to avoid any person, place, or thing that could be a near occasion of sin, that could lead you into sin. This is called firm purpose of amendment. Fourth is, confess your sins to the priest. Be sincere, be humble, be honest, be transparent, and be gone. And finally, the priest gives you a penance. Carry out that penance. When I was a novice preparing to become a religious and a priest, our novice master suggested that we always do double of what the confessor gave us, showing that we had a well-disposed heart. So if you're given a deck of the rosary, pray two decades of the rosary. So my friends, preparing yourself well and making a really good confession can be a really great way to live out Lent, which is a call to conversion of heart.